Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we have a fan here, a cooler fan that we're gonna put. Alrighty then. Here I have in front of me a early 2008 MacBook Pro. Let's go to about this Mac here. As you can see there, this doesn't see the 30 2008, but this is an early 2008 MacBook Pro. 2.5 gigahertz this is a bit more uh, spec bump than the base model and a 512 max of 8600 mg gt well in this video i'm gonna show you guys that how can we update this 15 year old macbook to mac os ventura or monterey a 15 year old computer can still run that thanks to of course open core legacy patcher by dortania man amazing man the patcher that allows us to run latest version of mac os on unsport hardware i'm in the github page here and special thanks to all these people man to all these people that able to make open core legacy patcher are amazing till this day man are happening crazy so in this video i'm gonna show you guys uh i'm gonna try to install ventura i tried it last night and it stuck on the apple logo. And also we're gonna try uh, using monterey so we're gonna have two flash drive ready for it all right so in this video i'm gonna focus especially on the 2008 early 2008 macbook pro 4.1 here first things first i will link um open core legacy patcher by Dortania and all these amazing people in this in the description down below here all right so this is the latest one in fact it's supporting sonoma very soon so the, as the latest one as of right now is 0.68 it's released i think a month ago so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here and we're gonna hit on download the patcher gui i already downloaded mine here i have it on the desktop right here as you can see here here is open core legacy patcher now it has a brand new user interface that is much easier for us to use. Okay, so the number one that we're gonna create, uh, that we're gonna prepare, I forgot to tell you guys again, is we need a flash drive. Of course, we need a flash drive to host the macOS installation. Uh, 16 gigs or higher is good. This is what I got a 64 gig. And number two is you need to have a USB hub. This is a USB 3.0 hub, but it's a 3.0, 2.0 is reversible. You need a hub so you guys can go ahead and install the Mac OS because the built-in USB on the installer does not work. But don't worry, after you install Mac OS, it will work. This will only, you need, only need the hub if you has, have a 2010 on older Mac. Okay, so I plug in my flash drive here. Now what we're gonna do here is go to this utility. Okay, we're gonna go to this utility here now. If you guys on a newer version of Mac OS, Sierra High Sierra, there's supposed to be a view option. So there's supposed to be a view option here. Click it and click on show all devices here, but not on El Capitan, so showing all the device here. Now, when I click on the host of your flash drive here, all right, not this one, the name, not, don't click the name, click the top one, all right, click the top one until you see these things. And then we're gonna hit on erase. Now make sure you see all these three tabs, all right, name, format, theme. And make sure it is on OX10 Extended Journal or Mac OS Extended Journal on newer version of Mac OS and it is GUID Partition Mac, all right? Now we hit Erase. Okay, Erase is complete. Let's quit out of this utility and we go back to Open Core here. And now we'll click on Settings. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Okay, then we're gonna go to Security here and we'll click on Disable amfi okay so the next one is we're going to click on create mac os installer here this is will download us a version of mac os that we want so if you click on download mac os installer here, it will pull up the latest version of mac os that's compatible with open core straight from apple server here which is like i said earlier as you can see here the latest version of big sur monterey and ventura here now i already have a installer here on my applications folder here so we're going to click on return the main menu click on here and we're gonna hit on use existing macOS installer and it will find an existing macOS installer here because I do this it is right there macOS Monterey this is the disk that we're gonna put the macOS installation including with the patches of from open core to so make sure your flash drive is detected here mine is detected here click on OK and it, it say here again here it will erase the flash drive click on yes and it is now will copy the macOS Monterey installation to the flash drive all right about 30 ish minutes later we successfully copied our os 10 or mac os installer to the usb and now it asks us to patch that flash drive with open core so we can boot it off so of course we're going to click on yes here and we will go 
the process starts normally. Now we're gonna install that open core patch to the flash drive that we want to boot it up. So we're gonna click on install on the disk. And we're gonna click on our flash drive here. We're gonna click on the flash drive that we're gonna use. Click on the EFI. And it is now installing it. Let me put up a password. There we go. And it is now installing. And there we go. It asks us to reboot the computer. And now we're gonna shut down our computer. All right, now the computer is shut down. We'll press the power button while holding the option key while our flash drive right there is still plugged in. So power on, hold the option key. We're gonna go ahead and, and press enter on the one that has the open core logo here. So press on the enter on EFI boot with the open core logo here. There you can see here, now it just show up. I just plugged in my flash drive that has the Ventura install here. But for now, I'm gonna try it on Monterey because the last time I tried on Ventura, it actually installs, but like after it restarted for the second time, it just stuck on the Apple logo like this. So we're gonna try using Monterey. All right, so here we are booted on the Monterey installer. But now one thing that note is Monterey installer does work with the trackpad and the keyboard. Yes, it does work. I try it with Ventura and it does not work. We do need a USB hub for that to boot with the uh, USB keyboard and mouse, but so far with Monterey, it works. So let's go ahead and set it up here. Let's go to English, but now we'll get on this utility. I mean, you guys can do an upgrade immediately, but I prefer to, I prefer to do a clean install. So it gives a best chance of the operating system to run great. We're gonna go to view here, view show all devices and then we're gonna click on our root of our ssd hit on erase and then make sure that the format it is apfs and GUID partition map and then hit erase okay erase process complete we're gonna click on done and we're gonna quit on the disability we're gonna hit on install mac os monterey okay and hit on continue and hit on agree and then we're gonna click on our ssd here if you guys didn't see your ssd show up make sure you format it to apfs thread and we're gonna hit on continue. And that should install. We'll see on how it goes. I will update you guys later on once the installation is finished. All right, so once the computer restart again after the setup is done, we're gonna hold the option key again to boot to the boot picker. Hit enter on the one that's with the open core logo here. Okay, now once you see your uh, hard drive here like that, with the one that says Mac OS install with your hard drive there, hit on enter. And that should boot. You can continue the installation of macOS. Looks like Monterey works. Even though I it needed the my Ventura install EFI, which I don't understand why, because the uh, flash drive that I have Monterey on doesn't show the uh, my hard drive ability to boot from the EFI. And there you go guys, we are finally after two hours of installing and rebooting, redirecting it using a Ventura. It finally booted and you can see the performance are not so good at the moment actually, but that is because the patcher hasn't been fully installed yet to the uh, macOS version here. All right. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally booted to macOS Monterey. Now, there's two things that I've noticed. As you can see, the dock is not transparent and the menu bar is not transparent. All right, guys. So, open core apparently doesn't install here. I don't, okay, I, I don't see it on the launch pad. So, I copied my open core patcher to a flash drive. And I here I am. We're back again. If you guys have the same problem as me, just copy your open core app to a flash drive and copy it again here and then we'll hit on build and install open core now this one shows up we'll hit on install to disk and then now we're gonna hit our ssd which is the one that we actually installed the operating system hit the ssd hit the efi again and now we're gonna type in our password so now all the patches and all the efi it's installed immediately to the ssd so we do not need the uh, flash drive so if we hit now hit on reboot all right now the computer rebooted again and then we're gonna hit on post install root patch okay the filler patches where the system is to get graphics the wireless and the keyboard so let's hit on start root patching on yes tap in our password okay there we go it's patching all the graphics card and my wi-fi now we're gonna hit on reboot the computer all right wi-fi does connect let's open up safari here let's see how many bounces that take 
and it's not that bad again here remember guys this is an old computer look at that it works look at that wi-fi works the let's see the multi-touch trackpad works here let's see if it loads the apple's website it loads look at that it works yo it works so far everything works it's amazing and i want to try out if the cam working and the mic is working there we go the camera is working and the mic is working look at that try it out activity monitor here let's see our usage here with four gigabytes of ram so we are now idling at 36 percent cpu with memory here we got four gigs of ram a free of 2.2 gigabytes it's not that bad performance uh, volume works and brightness works look at that the brightness uh, toggle work system report here macbook pro 4 comma 1 runs on monterey it's it's performed not bad at all i ain't gonna lie y'all it's not bad so guys that's all for the video it's still amazing that a 15 year old computer can somehow by the power of open core legacy patcher and all the amazing people behind it can able to run quite good actually on a 2008 early 2008 macbook pro crazy so guys that's all for the video thank you guys for watching this video comment like and subscribe and i catch you guys on the next video peace